Hello everyone, welcome to this talk. My name is Rajesh Jhele, I am professor at IIT Bombay and I am going to tell you about our chip Dhruva. Dhruva means North Star. In old days, people used to use Dhruva, the North Star, to find direction. And similarly, our chip is going to do the same thing for you, specifically for people in India. We are going to give you directions. Now, all of you must be familiar with GPS, Global Positioning System. That's the name that anybody and everybody knows. So what is Global Positioning System? We use Global Positioning System through our daily routine without even realizing it. When you are going to unfamiliar place, you look up maps and the maps, your, your mobile phone is telling you where you are located in that map. That is using Global Positioning System. Your Ola driver or Swiggy is delivering you using Global Positioning System. If you are telling your friend where you are located, you are using Global Positioning System. Now this Global Positioning System, how does that really work? Global Positioning System is a navigation system. A navigation system includes constellation of Earth orbiting satellites. These satellites continuously transmit their positions and time reference using radio waves. The navigation receivers capture these signals and amplify and further process them in the digital domain. Each receiver determines its own position accurately based on the trilateration method using the signals received from multiple satellites. Now, numerous nations have already deployed their own navigational satellite systems like US has Global Positioning System GPS which we all use, Russia's Global Navigation Satellite System GLONASS and Europe's Galileo, China's Beido or Japan's QZSS. All of us have been using GPS through our daily routine. Now GPS is global positioning system which is using the satellites which are sent in space by United States. Now we can use GPS for all civilian application in India or any other country. However, during Kargil war in 1999, we were denied access to the GPS positioning system for our soldiers. Now that's the time when we realized that we really need to be self-reliant in this area. India indigenously developed its own satellite system called IRNSS or Indian Regional Navigational Satellite System or also called NAVIC. NAVIC is Navigation with Indian Constellation. Now these satellites have been sent to by ISRO to the space. The last one was sent in 2016 and they have been orbiting the earth since that time. However, there is no commercial chip which can decode these signals which are coming down from those satellites. So today, if you look at any mobile phone or any practical application which is portable, there you will still see GPS system being used for all the civilian applications. So our goal as a team at IIT Bombay was to develop a chip which will decode this signal. So when we started working on this project, first time we, this particular project was funded by METI to develop our own chip which would uh, decode these signals, we thought why don't we go forward one step. So we developed a chip which can do not only NAVIC which is specific to Indian subcontinent but also GPS, Beidou or Galileo. So this particular chip can do the decode the signals from all these uh, different satellite systems. Now these navigation satellites are about 36,000 kilometers away from Earth. So they are so far away that the signal which is coming from them is so weak. So as an IC designer, to decode these signals, the first thing we need to do is amplify these signals. So we have to amplify these signals by about 4 lakh times, which is 400,000 times. And then we have to also remove a lot of noise or any kind of signal which is obstructing the information. So after we remove all these signals and process them, amplify them, we convert these analog signals into digital format using an A to D converter. And after that, these digital signals can be used in any standard digital signal processing systems to decode the location information. Dhruva IC is capable of tuning to the navigation signals transmitted at multiple frequencies, which is NAVIC L5 band, GPS L2 band, GPS L1 band and NAVIC S band. In addition, the IC can be tuned to frequency band occupied by many other worldwide navigation systems, making it truly a universal solution. The chip with a die size of 1.8 mm by 1.8 mm is developed as a production level IC with ESD protection, on-chip testing and reference circuits which can operate from minus 40 degrees centigrade to 100 degrees centigrade. 
So Dhruva started as a class project. I was teaching RF analog mix signal design classes at IIT Bombay. And as part of the class project, I floated topics which were relevant to navigational systems. For example, an LNA design for RF receiver. The students gave resounding response and they were very excited about working on project which is relevant to India. And around the same time, uh, Meti also supported us with funding for this project. The original goal from ISRO Meti uh, for the funding was that we should develop a RF receiver for NAVIC. We wanted to do something bigger and more challenging. So the students agreed that we would develop a RF receiver which is for all the different navigational systems in the world. And this required, uh, we had to do, come up with a lot of innovations so that our chip can work with under all sorts of conditions. And uh, the same chip can be used for all these different applications. In the industry, typically it takes about nine months for a set of professional designers to take a chip from idea to tape out point of view. In our case, I had to teach all the students all the necessary basics and tools, advanced techniques in RF analog and mixed signal design in the classroom. And then these students were able to design these uh, complex circuits. It took us about 18 months to develop the chip. Here is a photograph of the entire team which worked on the Dhruva. Now let me take you to the lab to show you a demo. So this is the PCB board on which we have mounted our uh, IC which is fabricated recently. This is a reconfigurable navigation receiver which can be configured to multiple navigation systems, Navic, GPS, Galileo, Beidu over the frequency bands of L1, L2, L5 and S frequency bands. Now we will walk you through the uh, contents inside this IC. The one you are seeing on your screen is the block diagram of the overall IC. Uh, there are few innovations in this IC we have incorporated which will help us in uh, reducing the overall area of the IC and achieve better performance and uh, achieve the compactness of the overall operation. So the RF amplifier which is the input where you can see that is uh, configurable to the frequency bands across all the navigation systems so that we can avoid any external components and uh, easily integrate interface it into a larger system and uh, we also in introduce some of the techniques so that we can avoid the DC offset which is a problem in high gain amplifiers and we can deal it while we are amplifying the low signals at the input and we have introduced a PLL which is uh, fully configurable to all navigation frequency bands using a single VCO which is uh, typically not done uh, for all existing other receivers. So with this PLL, we can uh, generate the RF LO required for uh, uh, overall down conversion operation for all the frequencies in all the navigation bands. We also have introduced a lot of testability feature with which we can tap uh, many of the critical nodes inside the IC for DC test. Also this IC is fully reconfigurable using the standard peripheral interface and we have on-ship master bias which will generate the desired biasing currents and also it is programmable so that we can compensate for the effects of process voltage and temperature. So this is our uh, test setup. Now my teammates will walk you through the measurements. So this is our overall test and measurement setup. Here is the PCB on which the IC is soldered and this is the input generator which gives the input to the IC which mimics the navigation signals. This is the GUI through which we are configuring the IC to different navigation systems and uh, this is the spectrum analyzer in which we are, uh, we are looking at the spectrum of the important signals such as local oscillator signal and uh, the output digital bits are shown in the digital oscilloscope. These digital bits of the uh, ADC are used for determining user position. We have interfaced Dhruva with a FPGA based digital correlator and successfully acquired and tracked the satellites. We have also acquired the user coordinates with the same test setup for NAVIC and GPS. Currently, the team is working on a second version of Dhruva with significantly lower footprint and improved performance and the layout of the second version of Dhruva is shown in the screen. To summarize, Dhruva is an indigenously designed RFIC for India, in India by our students. Now, it's a starting point. It sows seeds of development of high performance RF analog mix signal ICs in India. It's an excellent starting point to become self-reliant in this high technology area. During the process, many PhD and master students were trained in this analog RF mix signal IC design. 
they were taught how the circuits work and how do you do the layout and when the chip comes back how do you test them. This is one of the most important missions under the fabulous chip design initiative for government of India. RF CMOS chip of such complexity takes many years to develop and it's a significant barrier to entry for new competitors. Dhruva can be easily adapted for mobile as well as commercial applications such as cell phones, smart devices, IoT, vehicle tracking, marine vessel tracking, railroad, water transportation monitoring, etc. Dhruva is an indigenous low cost solution for worldwide navigational systems applications with smallest size and power. We are currently in the process of testing and deploying with the commercial entities. Thank you.